Hey everyone, Mr. McIntosh here, and tonight we're going to go over the macOS Mojave 2020-005 security update. It's causing some major problems for some users, and we're going to go over all the causes of it. I'm going to go over users' reports, and then I'm going to show you some workarounds and fixes that could possibly fix the issue for you. Well, let's get started. The, this update, the 2020-005 security update, came on Thursday, September 24th, which is only a couple days ago. And multiple users are coming in and saying that they are having big problems after installing this update. Um, I've got some of the latest updates that are coming in here. Um, one of the things that I'm keeping an eye on is Apple Software Update Server. Sometimes when there's a major problem with one of the updates, Apple will pull the update. And that's like a confirm. That's like the only confirmation usually you'll ever get from Apple that there's a serious problem. Um, and then maybe they'll work on it, and then they actually end up re-releasing the update after everything's fixed. So far, that has not happened yet. Um, like I said, as soon as something happens, and if it does get pulled, I'll make sure I update this article and put it on here and let you guys know. Um, I've got the table of contents here. This is the article that I put together to cover all the issues here. I've researched this problem and found many user reports of, of you name it, it's got problems. We, the first one of the major ones is memory issues. Um, there's large reports of increased memory usage, uh, double, triple, quadruple the amount that normally they see. They have no free memory left. There's a large amount of compressed memory and, uh, usage. And let's take a look at that. I'll open up the activity monitor here and, and we'll see what we normally should see. This is kind of a, a normal system here. We click on the, me the memory tab of activity monitor. You can take a look at the memory pressure. You can see the swap and the compressed. This machine as it's standing has eight gigs of RAM. It's, it doesn't have any swap used. It doesn't have any compressed. And that's kind of a normal machine. Don't get me wrong. When you're running Chrome or a bunch of applications, you could get into the swap. But normally, if you're in, a, in the green with memory pressure, you're okay. Once you start getting into the, the yellow or the red, that's when the system is going to start to slow down. It's going to be swapping to disk. You can read this little thing here. It says the memory pressure is an indicator of the system's ability to meet the memory requirements of the user's activity. The higher memory pressure indicates that the system is reaching its limits and performance may degrade. And that's exactly what's happening to users. So you'll see right away that there's a problem in here. It'll be yellow or red. You'll see a bunch of swap used and a bunch of compressed memory used. Let's get rid of this and get back here. Um, and then uh, right into the next one, it's going to cause slow boot. It could it could also cause the machine to heat up and have high fan speeds. The system will start to slow down and stall in Finder. Um, it's causing other issues in the system too. If you can't even create a brand new user. If you go into users and groups and you click new user, you type in the username and the password, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't create the user. Really messed up. And the next thing is migration assistant crashes. If you start migration assistant to try to transfer your data to another Mac, you what you do is you usually have fired up from the applications folder. It'll give you a, a, a menu and you hit next and it'll close all your windows and should basically almost log you out and come with a menu to, to bring you to the next part. In this particular case, it just crashes right to the login window. So that's, that's a weird one. We also have large amount of system logs um, that are, are, comp are getting written over and over again and actually are filling up the system log uh, multiple times per second. Um, that's obviously a problem. We also have problems using TM Util Local Snapshot. That's Time Machine trying to make a local snapshot. If you try to do a TM Util list local snapshots, you'll get a bunch of weird uh, error messages, but it still looks like it seems to work. Uh, same thing with Software Update. You get a little benign, a couple errors when you try to run Software Update. Also, there's a bunch of problems with the screensaver. If, if you go into Desktop Screensaver, when you're trying to select a picture type screensaver, the entire sit, the entire Finder will lock up. Um, there's also reports of the Windows Windows Server process using four times the amount of memory it should. Um, a normal Windows Server process should run anywhere between 40 and 128 megabytes. And it could jump as, as high as 400. That's not normal. Um, there's some other applications like CDoc for a doc custom, customization app that comes unusual. And the menu bar sometimes doesn't change when you're switching from applications back to the Finder. Um, as, what, a, what a mess, right? Um, so let's just jive in real quick here. What are the effective build numbers? This is only affecting 10, 14, 6, 
what uh, 2000 the 2020 005 security update installed there is no user reports that are coming in from anybody that's on high sierra that i've seen so far not to say there isn't but also remember that high sierra has a smaller install base so uh mojave's right in that sweet spot in the middle and of course goes to catalina there might actually be more catalina installs than there is mojave right now Effective Mac hardware. Sometimes this is different. Sometimes this is special, or, or this is uh, special to only T2 Macs, or new Macs, or old Macs, or uh, integrated uh, GPU Macs and stuff like that. Not this one. If you install this and you've got Mojave, you're having the issue. Over here, I go over some of the the reports that I've seen in Mac rumors, Apple discussion forums, and on Twitter. Um, this time around, I can reproduce the issue. Every time I come out with an article or talk about an issue, I want to make sure that I can reproduce the issue. It's very important uh, when I report on this to have extreme accuracy when I report this. So if I'm saying, hey, I'm recommending that you don't install this update, I want to have evidence to back it up. And in this in this situation, I've installed it on multiple test machines, older and newer, and I can reproduce these issues that the users are reporting. So... Um, this time around, I can do it. Sometimes I can't. I have to rely on user reports. Um, let's jump in right into the fixes here. How do I fix this? If I've already installed, or if you've already installed this update, how can you fix this? You're caught, your Mac is running really slow. You're having all these problems. How can you fix it? The good news is, is that Apple built a, a really nice feature called Automatic Update Snapshots. Now, this was actually implemented in, in Mac OS High Sierra 10.13. And what, what happens is, is when you install the security update, the installer will do a TM Util, a Time Machine local snapshot of your entire drive right before it installs the security update. So this is super helpful. Um, and that's what's happening. So the only downside is it only lasts 24 hours and then it's deleted. I can't believe Apple would do that, but you know what? It is what it is, right? It's nice that it has it. So what you, all you need to do, I've got instructions on how do you do that here. Um, all you, let's jump right to those instructions. The steps to restore from an automatic update snapshot. All you need to do is reboot your Mac and hold down Command R. Once you're in the recovery partition, you want to select the restore from Time Machine backup. It's that first option in the in the Time Machine menu. On the next screen, you'll see se select which drive you want to pull backup from. Usually, everybody only has one drive. You can see sometimes if you have multiple partitions, you can select different drives, but most people are going to just have Macintosh hard drive. Select that. If you have File Vault enabled, you're going to be asked for your passwords. You just unlock the drive, and then the next screen, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see if you have it there. If it's been 24 hours since you installed it, you're going to see this snapshot. I took this snapshot here when I was testing out that ability back in uh, Mojave, and here it is. You'll see the date, and you'll actually see the build number. You should see you should see the previous build number, which is, I think, uh, 6020, if you are on the 2015-004 update. So um, if you see that, oh, I actually have that right here. Yeah, 18G6020, If you have, that's what you're going to see right here. All you need to do is click the Continue button. Boom. It's going to move you right back to that, that snapshot that was taken right before the security update, and you're fixed. You're done. Um, let's say that you didn't. You, you, you're watching this video now, but you installed it a couple days ago. I still have some fixes for you. Let's get going. Um, one of the things is that people are complaining on Twitter. They're saying, hey, I've got this issue. What do I got to do to fix it? Apple is support. Uh, the official Twitter account has actually responded to one of the people that were having the issue, John here, and said, hey, um, we recommend up, updating or upgrading uh, Mojave to Catalina. And that has been reported to fix the issue for, for some people. But let's be honest, if you're on Mojave, there's probably a reason and you want to stay on Mojave. So what do I do now? Okay, we've got some ways to do it. The, the way you want to be able to do it is you want to reinstall the base full installer over the top of your current operating system. The beauty of this is that you get to keep all your files and you get to keep all your applications. You're basically replacing all of the system files with fresh a fresh copy of 8, uh, 10, 14, 6, 18 g 103 That's the latest full installer that's available from Apple. How do you get this thing? I've got some links for you right here. Uh, this is a link right to my page here. I've got, I've got the, how do I download macOS? 
on here. And this is my page that I show you how to download every single OS you want, right? So look, I got a, a link right here for Mac OS Mojave, and it brings you right to the App Store. You click on this link, it'll open up a new uh, window. Boom, it brings you right to there. And look at this. You just click Get, and it starts downloading. Done. It's going to put it in the Applications folder when it's done. It's about 8 gigabytes, so it's going to take some time to download. Once it's there, you'll see it here. I've actually got a copy of Mac OS Catalina, so you can kind of see what that's going to look like when you fire that up. And you can just walk right through it. And this is it. This is what you'll see. You'll see uh, install Mac OS Mojave here. After you've downloaded it, you hit continue. It's going to reinstall right over it. Now, let's say you have a, a, a USB installer. And that will work too. All you need to do, let me close the, this here and go back here. All you got to do is reboot the system here. And I've got the instructions here yeah reboot the system to to recovery and reinstall from there too that's the same thing you're going to pull down ag 18g 103 right from the recovery presentation you don't even have to download installer either way though you have to download the install even in the recovery you have to download it from apple so you either app download it from the app store you download it from apple you reinstall right over it and you're back at 18g 103 with no problems now what i recommend doing though is I've got a link here to download the 2020-004. You want to keep all the latest security updates so you're not vulnerable to attacks and malware. So I've got a link. Let's click on this guy, and it'll bring you right to here. So you can download the 2020-004. So that installs right the security update right before the problematic 05 update. So you're basically set until Apple comes back out and and provides maybe a new copy of the 005 that doesn't have these issues. So you just click this, it'll download a package, just right, install it, and you're up to date here. Um, that's pretty much it. If you're see I've also got a couple things down here. If you're seeing this issue, let, let Apple know. They've got to know. Contact Apple Support, file a v feedback report, call Apple Care. If you have a business, call Enterprise Support and get a ticker. This helps prioritize this issue. issue. Um, I've got a couple links here in the bottom. You can go read these if you want. It kind of discusses all, this is all the people complaining about this. There's tons of threads with users just having tons of problems here. I've kind of got a couple tweets here in, the, in there. And that's it, guys. Um, I hope that this, this video has helped you and you can get your Mac back to... Uh, to working condition again. This is a real big bummer. Um, the, the thing is with this, with the security updates, they're really only supposed to fix uh, security related issues. And there was only a couple listed on the patch notes. There was only four CVEs listed. So something went seriously wrong with this update. And again, I hope maybe I caught you before you update so you don't have to run through all these. No one wants to have to sit here and reinstall the operating system and have all this downtime, right? So um, one last recommendation. I recommend that if you uh, see a security update, don't turn on automatic updates. Give it some time to sit. If there's a problem, I'm going to let you know about it. I'm going to let you know within day, like a couple days if there's a, there's a serious issue. So if you wait a week, most of the time you're going to be updated with what's going on. And then you're not going to install it. And you can wait until something, maybe a, an updated installer comes out, or maybe it's fine. Maybe there's no issues. And, and that happens most of the time. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Have a good night.